The IMS Managing Director, Christine Lagarde, has been making the case in recent days for urgent collective action to save the global economy from a downward economic spiral. She joins us from Davos, where policymakers have continued discussions on how to resolve the crisis in the Eurozone at the heart of global concerns. Madame Lagarde, you have warned in recent days of a 1930s moment for the global economy unless policymakers around the world, not just in the Eurozone, make the right decisions. Based on your recent interactions with policymakers, including in Davos, how confident are you that that will happen? Well, leaders are responsible for making sure that uh, they jurisdictions, their country, their region, but also the global community uh, does better and actually can manage through the crisis. So I'm sure, I'm sure that they will be concerned about making that coordinated, uh, cooperative and comprehensive move that we have been advocating and that I was advocating in Berlin, uh, where the Euro partners have to do several things, and I'm happy to come back to that, where the US and Japan really focus on anchoring the mid-term policy on solid fiscal consolidation and where the emerging market economies, particularly those that are, are in a surplus position, can actually focus a bit more on the domestic consumption rather than rely extensively on either investment or exports. Now turning to Europe, if you will, um, we have said, and I say to whoever I meet here in Davos, that it will require uh, different uh, movements. One on growth, clearly, because that's most needed. There is too much unemployment around the world. There is too much unemployment in the Eurozone in particular. They must concentrate on developing a credible and solid firewall, and they must integrate better, so that in addition to being a good monetary zone, they also have a fiscal uh, region that is well coordinated. Now, on growth for the Eurozone, uh, we mean several things. We mean a, a good, sensible, tailor-made fiscal policy that is predicated on fiscal consolidation, compulsory in some corners, more uh, slow in those countries that have fiscal room. It's predicated on uh, a, a definite move towards better competitiveness and for that structural reforms will be needed. And finally, it's also predicated on a monetary policy that will support uh, the other two. Now, staying with Europe, uh, one development that continues to unsettle financial markets is the ongoing debt restructuring talks involving Greece. To what extent do you think uh, the outcome in Greece will determine the overall outcome in the Eurozone? The outcome in Greece uh, will result from collective efforts. Uh, it will require uh, clearly deliverable adjustment by the country. It will require the private sector involvement, significant and substantial, and it will probably require official support. Official support has already uh, been delivered uh, in, the, in the past. Clearly there is a program underway, but all of that will have to come together and probably be updated in the face of these new economic developments that have affected the country. As you know, an IMF team is on the ground as, at the moment, as we speak, working with the Greek authorities to determine you know, what is exactly the economic situation, what are the challenges, and what can be implemented in the short term to demonstrate to the Euro partners that the country is actually serious and determined about adjusting. Now, you've called for a big increase in the IMF's resources as a, a way to help restore confidence. What other steps is the IMF taking to help put the global economy back on track? Don't forget that the IMF is a, a, a guardian of stability and a builder of confidence. And there's a lot to be done at the moment. Uh, there's a lot to be done and we probably need more, uh, more funding to be able to respond to a time of crisis. That's the reason why we have started negotiating, discussions, exploring options uh, with our membership at large, uh, because it is our membership at large that we care for. So we're not raising funds for the purpose of funding the euro area uh, exclusively. We are in the uh, raising fund exercise for the benefit of the entire community, just in case there were collateral damages, just in case there were spillover effects uh, arising out of the crisis in the Eurozone. Madame Lagarde, thank you very much. My pleasure.